They did the monster mayhem. Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Welcome back to Monster Mayhem. Day 10. Today we're going to be talking about The Mummy's Hand. The Mummy's Hand is a 1940 film which runs approximately 67 minutes. So it's a pretty short watch. Now this is directed by Christy Cabane. Now he passed away, and yes he passed away on October 15th, 1950 at the age of 62. This stars Dick Foran as Steve Bannon. He passed away on August 10th, 1979 at the age of 69. Peggy Moran as Marta Solani. She passed away on October 24th, 2002 at the age of 84. And Wallace Ford as Babe Jensen. He passed away on June 11th, 1966 at the age of 68. Now, a brief synopsis. After being fired, Steve Bannon and his partner Babe buy an ancient vase that is supposed to be able to tell them or lead them to an Egyptian princess's tomb. After disturbing the tomb, they not only have to deal with the high priest, but also the mummy. I'm going to leave it there. This has a lot more comedic elements, and to be honest, the sidekick babe is more like a kind of a knockoff Lou Costello, which is maybe where they got the idea to do Abbott and Costello, because I think this movie was pretty popular. Now, as far as the runtime, it's very short. You kind of get in and you get out. The acting is really good. It's, like I said, it's a little bit more comical. There is still horror. You still get the mummy, actually you get more mummy action in this one than you do in the original. Because he's trying to um, prevent them from disturbing the princess's tomb. So, this is a fantastic movie. Um, I thought it was interesting that Babe Jensen kind of came off exactly like Lou Costello. Um, he's a little bit bigger. A little bit taller, and not quite as funny, but I think when you watch it, you kind of get the idea. Also, part of the plot were these leaves. They kind of did away with the scroll and started focusing on these um, leaves, which you had to boil and extract some juice out of it in order to reanimate, well, it was supposed to be the princess, but it ended up being the mummy. And he was actually kind of led by the high priest in order to kill the search party. So it was pretty cool. Pretty cool movie. There's definitely horror involved. Um, I like this one. Like I said, it's going to be very hard to rank these at the very end because there are so many good movies in the Universal Monster series. So definitely check this one out. And don't forget to check out Joe's review of The Mummy's Hand. If you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.